Hello there. I want to quickly do a demonstration on how to um, import a brush library and how to export and save your brushes as well so that you can take them with you and have, always have them. So the first thing I will do, I will reset my brush palette to default or maybe even clear it. To do that, you have to open, so we have these two tabs, brushes and brush presets. You can pull off brush presets sometimes, that's nice too. But clicking on this, these options here, you can go ahead and say reset brushes. And that will say replace current brushes with the default and say okay. Now I'm back to just normal Photoshop stuff. I can believe I can also just say um, replace brushes. And then it will ask me to say, what do you want to replace with? Well, I have saved out these AVR files already. So you can click any of these. We'll, I'll send you something called Dustin Brushes. And we'll load it. And there they all go. What's great about these, by doing replace, it actually took out all those other Photoshop brushes that I don't use. And now I just have the ones that I like. So that's a good way to do it. Um, to save out brushes, so you've made a few and you want to um, save them out, then what you do is you just go to this option and you say save brushes. And that will save all your brushes as a dot .avr file. And then you can take that with you. Um, I usually just keep one saved always in an email or on my Google Drive. That way, no matter where I am, I can access my brushes. So save them and start your own library. There's one more slightly advanced option I want to show you. If you go to this dialog box and there is a preset manager, this will open up a window of all your current brushes. And you can also look at your other things like your swatches, your gradients, and um, other sort of samples or elements of Photoshop that you can customize. And by doing this, is it, you can multi-select by holding shift. So let's say you only wanted to save these brushes um, or these particular ones. These are some cloud brushes. So if you wanted just to save those ones out, you would do that and say save set. And that should save those out. Um, the other thing you can do is you can delete ones you don't want, which is actually really nice. So say I don't want any of these, hit delete. Great, now I'm just down to the ones I want. And I can then select the ones. If, this, if you don't have anything selected, it won't uh, allow you to save the set. So you have to select the ones that you want and save that set. And then that's kind of a nice way. Um, for example, say I only had the sets of, let's just delete all those, done. All right, now I've only got a few brushes in here. And say I've saved out somewhere else well, let's just go and find some. So I want to load brushes. I can go to Ashley's, say load, and that will actually append. Oops, oops. That will actually take Ashley's brushes and add them to the ones I already have. So one thing I do recommend is once you guys load up the, my brushes, is to not just you know play with them, see what kind of strokes they make. But also go in and look at all the different um, elements that are being used to create it and, uh, and see what that, that way you can kind of learn. And sometimes, you know, I like to take a brush and then I'll turn off the texture or the dual brush and just use it as it's um, just with this initial sample. And sometimes you can, you know, create new brushes off of ones that have already been made. So that might be a nice hairbrush. I can change angle jitter and I get something totally different. So um, go ahead and see what you can do, create brushes out of brushes that already exist. Have fun.